what's up guys welcome to this new video about green screens blue screens kia whatever you want to call it i just call it green screens so don't forget to give thumbs up subscribe to my channel and activate the bell to don't miss any video in the future but right now we are jumping into lumafusion welcome to lumafusion as you can see right now we have a timeline with two clips above each other one background clip like this one, so nothing special, just nature. And above it, a green block with yeah, some, a marker or something like that. And we want to create this one out of it. Yeah. These are the same clips. This one just has a title uh, layer as addition, yeah. But they are pretty much the same. And as you can see, you can create cool effects with green screens. You can find all these title boxes, markers, uh, etc. together with a lot of stuff like transitions, slots, sound effects in my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle, which you can find in the text box or in the info box on the top right corner now. Go and check it out if you want to. But now back to green screens. So let us create this nice marker out of this one. To do this, we have to add, of course, a green screen, which is the topic today. To do this, double tap the green layer, go to the lock symbol here in the top right corner on the color and FX uh, tab, and then click on green screen key. As you can see right now, the green has disappeared, but the edges of the white bar, the, the marker, are not really sharp. To get those edges really sharp, we have to play around with the settings. So the first setting is the U range, so the color range. And to set the color range to a perfect result, we should follow LumaFusion's advice to set it to the bar in the slider here. So to, in this case, about 40. And as you can see, the edges have become sharper but not perfect. So let's go to the second slider. The satura saturation range, as you can see, if we set it to the marker, um, we have nearly perfect edges. And now at the last slider, the brightness doesn't have a that big effect right now because it's nearly perfect, but also follow LumaFusion's recommendation and set it to at 50. And we've got a perfect razor sharp uh, marker. To drag it to the person we want to have it, to the person in the image, we just do nothing else than change the size. And now we've got a really cool effect out of this marker. As I said before, if you want to have these markers as presets, just check out my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I wanted to make it short and informative as possible. So if you like it, give thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to activate the bell. So we are seeing each other at the next video. Till then, see ya.